Hi, Sean and Ashlyn with a quick tutorial for Vectorworks on some 2D commands that are kind of basic, but they can be overlooked. I think I was using Vectorworks for a couple of years before I ever got around to looking into combine into surface, compose, and decompose. They're pretty straightforward, but and they're pretty actually pretty easy to figure out just by playing around with it. But let me draw your attention to them because they're pretty useful. They're, they're related to the typical Boolean uh, add surface, clip surface, 2D commands that you've probably been using already. And in a sense, you can think of them as a kind of an add surface command for lines instead of for polygons. What I've got down here is just a collection. I've got three lines, I've got an arc, and I've got a little polyline squiggle that I created using the freehand tool. So these are all loose, so I can just go ahead and grab them, and they're not gonna, they're just, they're just floating loosely on there. But what I'm gonna do is use the combine into surface command to kind of pour some plaster inside these lines. You'll see what I mean in a second. And even though these little tails are poking out into our form, that's not gonna hurt anything. As long as we have an enclosed space, we'll be fine. Fine. I'm going to go and just grab a marquee around all of these guys to select them. So I've got five objects selected and go up to the modify menu and grab combine into surface. Now I get my little paint bucket of plaster here. And if I just click anywhere on the inside of the shape, I now get a new, a new object. You see I had five objects a moment ago. Now I have six. So if I just click to deselect and click again, notice I've got a polyline in the middle there. Let's throw some color into it. You can see it. So now I've got this little shape that is created from pouring my virtual plaster into this shape. And that can be uh, very handy to have. It. And these little tails here poking in didn't hurt at all. So let's go ahead and look at this little group of lines over here. This is three lines in an arc. This is slightly different, but really similar. And that's this is I'm going to use the compose command for this. I've got the three lines that are all connecting at their endpoints, and then the arc here is the endpoints of the arc are also connecting. So if we do basically the same thing, I'm just going to grab these uh, four objects now and go up to modify and use the compose command. And you see, I don't get the leftover lines. Here in the combine into surface, the lines stay behind, but here my lines actually got kind of baked into the one shape. So now instead of six objects that I had here, I just have the one shape. But basically it's done the same thing. I now have one polygon, polyline, that uh, is acting like a solid surface. And I can, I can extrude this, I can do all kinds of things to it that I could not do if I was using just the lines. Now the decompose, as you'd guess, is just the reverse of that. So back up to modify and decompose, and that basically kind of breaks it back apart into its loose pieces. But you can do something else with decompose that's kind of cool. And that's this little selection here. I've, I've got two rectangles and a circle, regular polygon shapes, shapes instead of lines in this case. And if I go ahead and grab all of those and just use our regular add surface command to make them one polyline, now I can go up here to the modify menu again and use decompose. And this time I've actually broken apart what was a bunch of squares and this circle and broken them into the 2D shapes. That's kind of cool. There's times when that can be really, really useful to, uh, to do that just by drawing using simple tools like the rectangle tool or the circle tool uh, to get some more complicated shapes. So three fun little tools. You might have overlooked them. Combine into surface, compose and decompose. They're all under the modify menu right here with the uh, add surface and clip surface that you've probably been using already. Uh, check those out because they can be a lot of fun to use. Thanks a lot. Bye-bye.